This is a demonstration of Stacking Plan software. Upon the installation of Stacking Plan, you will have an icon placed on your desktop that looks like this. Go ahead and double click it. Stacking Plan will open up. And to create a new Stacking Plan, what you do is you choose File, New Plan, and give it a name, Demo Plan. And when a Stacking Plan is created, a default floor, as well as a default suite, is created on the stacking plan. So let's just say that our building has three floors. What we need to do is come over to Plan Floor and Suite Data and add additional floors. We'll choose New and we'll give it uh, Floor 2. And we'll choose New again and add an additional floor, Floor 3. And our three floors are created. Let's just say that our, our, uh, that our first floor has uh, five suites. So, we'll, so what we'll do is choose the uh, choose the suite that's already there and you know which highlights it up here and we'll go ahead and hit new okay and we'll add four suites to this floor which gives us five let's just say that our second floor has uh, four suites so we'll just choose this and we'll add an additional three and let's just say that our top floor only has two suites so we'll choose this and we'll hit new and we'll add one additional floor Okay, so now you can see our stacking plan is starting to take shape. We now have to add uh, details to each of our suites. So we'll start with the first one here on the third floor. We'll highlight this and you'll see that it highlights in up here in suite detail and it starts with square footage. We'll go ahead and, and say that, th that this one is 4,500 square feet. The name of the tenant is Beacon Accounting and the abbreviation is BA and the suite number is 301. And let's just say that this particular lease is going to be ending in the next couple of months. So we'll go to the end of August here, and we'll just say that this is an accounting firm. And we have a lease rate of $4,500. We have a security deposit of $9,000. We don't have a bump. We don't have a bump date because the lease expiration is, is coming up. You can put in a, a description for the suite. You can also put in s some specific uh, parameters as far as uh, you know what might be in the lease. You can put in a contact name, phone, or email and hit save. And you can format your plan. And you can see that it has turned red, which this is to expire in, uh, in, in 2012. And, and as you can see, that the red does correspond to this year down here, you know, which is 2012. So what we'll do now is add the, add the detail to the second suite on our third floor. We'll highlight that. And we'll come up here and let's just say that this one is 4,100 square feet and it's Acme Legal. And the abbreviation is AL. And the suite is 302. And let's just say that our lease is going to end in 2016. And you can put in that this is a law firm. And we have a lease rate of 4,100. No escalation. Let's just say that we have a security deposit of 8,200. And it is cash. And we have a we have a bump rate of going up to 4,500 as of let's just say the end of July in this case. And you can put in a description if you'd like, and you can choose some of these options here if they if they pertain to the tenant. And go ahead and hit save, and format your plan. And you can see that this that this aqua color does correspond to 2016, which is what we put in for the lease expiration. Our stacking plan is starting to take shape. So now what we'll do is go ahead and um, Add some some display options to our plan by go ahead and, by going ahead and clicking this tab here. What you have first on the left here is these are the data items that actually correspond to what's in the suite cells, as you can see. So let's just say that we want to take out name and we want to use the abbreviation that we had put in uh, per our tenants, you know, just because that would uh, you know save us some space. Um, we'll go ahead and choose bump and bump date, and we'll go ahead and add our security deposit. And let's just say that's good enough. We'll hit Save Plan and Format. And you can see that this is all changed. Um, what you also have here is Plan Display Options. Uh, you can choose, choose a portrait or landscape orientation. Right now we're in portrait, as you can see, if you want to go to landscape. And let's just say that we want to take out our bottom bar here. We can choose No Legend and hit Save. And you can see that we're wider with No Legend on the bottom. So let's go ahead and put that back portrait and we want the legend to hit save. There we have it. So what we have down here is you can actually uh, set a default color scheme uh, you know, for your stacking plan. What you have 
what you have uh, by default is the standard colors that we see along here. Um, you can go to grayscale if you know that if you know that you're going to be be uh, printing to a black and white printer, or you can do a vacant, you know, which highlights all of your vacant suites and you know and basically dims these. So we'll go ahead and hit save, and there's our vacant report. And we're, let's just go back to standard, and there we have that. You can also get custom uh, with your colors in the regard of, you know, let's just say that we wanted to turn the entire second floor orange, you know, for some reason. You can basically come up here and make sure the floor is chosen and you can put in floor two and choose a color. Let's go with orange. Say OK and hit save. It choose and it, it turned the entire floor that color orange. So let's just say that, that we want to put it back now. We'll go ahead and put in floor two and per the color scheme up here and hit save. And you can see that these all turn white again per the color scheme. Over here we have manual sizing of floors and suites. So we can choose a suite inside this floor and we can manage the entire height of that floor. Or per this particular suite we can manage the width of the suite. Or per this particular suite we can actually manage the font of that suite if that's important. Um, what you have down here is auto size font and rows. What this will do if you enable this, this will go ahead and auto size the height of each one of your floors. Uh, per the text that is inside uh, you know that cell so we'll go ahead and choose rows and let's just say that we want to knock the font down you know for the entire plan to say a three or four which on the screen is actually very small but you know but when it prints it's it's actually very crisp so to save yourself a lot of space and to create a uh, stacking plan on one page you can actually lower your font to a four let's say and hit save plan and it really scrunches it down but when this prints out it's actually very crisp so if I wanted to go ahead now and actually see what my stacking plan is you know, looking like on paper, I can hit preview plan or press F6. And that's what my plan would look like if I printed it out. So I'll close this. Over here you can actually add in a, a, a building name and choose an image you know, that you would want, you know, maybe, maybe a logo uh, that would show in the upper left here. I'll go ahead and show some of the uh, reporting. Uh, we'll come over to expiration report. And this basically just gives a uh, a listing of expiration data, uh, you know, per tenant. You've got your vacancy report, which basically shows all of your vacant uh, tenants or suites. You've got your rent roll report, which has a few options here. Let me hit load. And you've got your stacking plan data report. I'll go ahead and hit load. You know, which is basically all of the all of the data that is on the stacking plan, uh, but it's in this it's in this. Uh, this uh, format here. Um, all of the uh, reports as well as as well as the stacking plan itself is exportable to Excel. So if I want to actually cho you know choose my stacking plan, choose ex export and I'll choose Excel and I'll export and hit save. It's actually going to save it to my desktop. I can minimize it over here and we can see there it is. There's my plan in, in Excel. Same thing for all of our reporting. Let's just say that we want to put our expiration report out to Excel. You can choose export and Excel. And and that actually puts it into a spreadsheet right here. So this is a basic uh, demonstration of stacking plan software. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to send us an email or give us a call. Thanks very much.